What is up everyone? Today I want to give you a little tip if you're a student. So stay tuned. So guys, I normally don't do stuff like that, but I thought there might be the one or the other student that is watching here as well. And so I want to show you one of the handiest thing um, to know a student. It's an app and in my opinion this is quite a good one and it's really really awesome. So let's have a look at it. So if you're a student you will have to handle a lot of books and normal students just um, take them and copy them which produces a lot of unnecessary paper and it costs quite a lot of money to do and it wastes a lot of space because um, it's so much to, uh, which you have to copy that um, you fill so many um, files it's it's amazing so I thought there must be a better way and so a few years ago I started to use my cell phone for stuff like that the first thing that I have was a, a normal scanner but if you use a normal scanner in the library it's hugely loud and it takes quite a lot of time and that was the moment where I realized I had to use my phone and the first few months I took photos of those pages that leaves you with the problem that you end up with a lot of photographies and they are all JPEGs and then you have to reconvert them and yeah it's it's not very convenient so what I did I was looking for a scan program for the cell phone and um, that was something that I find and that is something that I want to share with you really uh, the main benefit is if you um, for, um, if you take a photo of something of a book especially you have the problem that those books never lie flat never ever and therefore you have the problem of um, distorting those images and this program that I found lets you sort out um, those distortions and lets you um, lets you, you um, cut the page on the side so that you just have the text and um, it converts it into black and white uh, it, it um, enhanced the the brightness and in it and it enhanced the contrast and then you can make it into a nice PDF document which you can store elsewhere so let's show you the app 
So the app is called Cam Scanner and if you start it up there are a few things that you can see. What you can see here those are the different documents that I have already produced in the last time and then um, you can visit them in here and you can um, work with them in those menus so just go in here and there you find all of the stuff and you can work on them so the important thing to know is let's start with a new project here on the right down corner is a symbol of a camera you start that and now you are greeted with the view of your camera you can select a few things down here you can scan QR codes with it you can do documents you can do single frames and you can do batch mode which is what we really want batch mode is really amazing you scan in one picture and then it starts to do the next one so I will reframe it so that you can see everything and then we go on so there we go um, the interesting thing is you don't have to focus you just um, align it and it will automatically take a photo and now we can continue so open the next page and press it okay that should be enough for a demonstration so let's go back into the menu so okay let's say we are finished now there here in the right corner it says how many pictures we have taken this time it was four so let's press the arrow and now we are greeted in the menu and here we have an overview of those um, of those pictures first thing that I normally do is I rename it so under the three dots you can rename it so let's call it test and that will be the name of the um, document uh, of the PDF document as well so let's have a look let's go into those pages and as you can see um, the app has already um, cut it out quite perfectly but on the second page I'm not that happy about that so up here in the um, upper um, corner there is a reframe button so let's press that we can now see the main page and now you can drag over all of those corners and then accept it down here it will reframe it accept it there we go this page was done well and this one wasn't if you have a page like that where it's a bit um, 
soft and not really focused properly, you can go to the three dots and you can photograph it and, um, again. So let's do that. So we now need to So let's come down like that and there we go. It's perfect. So now that we have this stuff done, let's make a PDF out of it. It's quite simple. You just have the PDF button over here. You press it and then it creates PDF and now you can sync it up with your PC and you're ready to go. I really really do love this app and it is one of the most useful apps that I know of and it really helped me with my studies. So. I hope this was interesting for you so, um, and you've enjoyed it. So thank you very much for watching, goodbye.